So I'm going to share with you some numbers. It may blow your mind. And is it possible? That's all I'm going to say. Look, I've got the spotchka right here, my friends. Let's dive into it right now. And welcome, everybody, to another episode of the Market Value Chart Show right here at Six Scale Cantina. So before we dive into all of this, I will be live this coming Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern. I will have a full panel in the house. Who knows if there's going to be any figures that are going to be released for Star Wars Hot Toys this week, and maybe we'll luck out. And there will be an official announcement. We'll have to see. But we're certainly counting down the days, the weeks, the few months here until the end of the year. And I sure do expect some crazy things to happen between now and the end of the year for Star Wars Hot Toys. Again, this coming Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern, the Market Show Live. It'll be my turn for the live show. Looking forward to it. We won't have Dante on this one from the Man of Hot Collectibles because he will be away. But we'll look forward to his return the next week for sure. Anyway, let's go ahead and dive into what I have here. And I want to share with you some numbers, some interesting things that may open your eyes. Um like they've never been opened before when it comes to Star Wars Hot Toys. Now, before we dive into that, let's actually go to SixScaleCantina.com. And if you don't have this website bookmarked, you may want to consider doing so. As you can see, the latest show is up here. The latest market chart show headlined a market quake. Hopefully you got to see that from this past Monday morning. And all of the latest news within the secondary market for Star Wars Hot Toys, including any news of any upcoming live show, and also anything that breaks, and there's going to be a lot breaking right now when it comes to Star Wars Hot Toys, like this Lando or this squad leader, Shore Trooper, with new releases and new announcements. It'll all be right here in the breaking news section. And we already went over the recent Biggest mover section from the video earlier this week. And I'm not going to really spend any time on here going over a few figures, um, just so you can see. <clears throat> the regular Anakin from The Revenge of the Sith. You know, around the price where it is right now, about $505 and trending down. You can see back from October 10th. 8 p.m., 21 bids, $495 and change. <clears throat> and <clears throat> not including shipping, not including taxes, it is showing signs, believe it or not, of starting to perhaps maybe trend up again. We're going to keep a very, very close eye on it. But <clears throat> I don't suspect this is going to be downtrending for long, even with that Clone Wars Anakin looming very fast upon us, especially the dark side Anakin. But I suspect this to start going up again, especially after the Clone Wars Anakin goes on waitlist and makes its way into the secondary market. Certainly that dark side Anakin uh, will be going up into higher tier ranges again. But you have to wonder, is it possible we're going to get a Dark Side Anakin reissue, or some type of new version of that figure, or some type of Anakin with the upcoming Obi Wan series that's going to be coming out in 2022. And I say, yes, hold fast. 
there is something coming. If not, a couple of figures, for sure. Real quick, <clears throat> you can see right here with um, <clears throat> Ray and Dio sold another one here back from October 11th. Another one sold three hundred and thirty dollars, <throat> almost ten thousand feedback, one hundred percent positive. And you know, just looking at some other figures <clears throat> as well, you can see Jin Erso holding steady within the six hundred dollar tier range. I think this figure, the Imperial Disguise, is in the six hundred dollar tier range. It's in the average though. Both of those figures, six hundred dollars. This one, $606, basically, not including shipping, not including taxes. These highly sought-after figures, um, and actually, this this seller, all positive feedback, but not a whole lot of feedback. Somebody had over 100 or perhaps near 1,000. Who knows what this may have went for. As a matter of fact, let's, let's actually go back to the market SixScaleCantina.com, and let's actually go to the market chart. Let's actually type in Jin, because I'm actually curious myself exactly where this disguise version is, Imperial Disguise. And you can see right here, Jin Erso Disguise, $465 in steady, where you have the Jin Erso Deluxe steady at $547, and the Jin Erso Regular steady at $428. And there has been signs of all three of these figures looking to trend up again. And I'm going to have to go look at the data. But you have to wonder, is it possible that the Jin Erso Disguise and maybe the Jin Erso Deluxe are trending up and that Disguise version is going to breach the $500 tier range? We'll have to see. But every time that I see and save data on these figures, they are continually selling over $500 and within the $600 tier range. Even the non-deluxe version, Jen Urso. So it's very, very possible. And I do believe that that Jen Urso disguise is probably going to be if it continues to sell. With what we're seeing right here. With prices like $606. It will most certainly breach the $500 tier range. Let's look at a couple of others before I blow your mind with some stuff over here. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and take a look at how's animated FET doing. And you can see right here, let's go to the original listing. And <clears throat> back from October 10th, Six hundred and ten dollars, <throat> and probably with a seller again with, with with higher feedback might have gone for more, and this is exactly where it is average wise within the market value chart, and going back there again. Let's just type in animated because we'll get the animated fet probably really quickly, and we do, and you could see that it's steady at $660. So that means it's going to sell sometimes around $550, sometimes it's going to sell around $750. Having a <clears throat> listing or an auction such as this going right down the middle at $610. Steady. These type of figures not being affected. Some of them is showing signs of going up. Some of them like the regular Anakin, Dark Side Anakin, showing signs of going down. Very, very interesting. Very interesting indeed. But let's go ahead and move away from this stuff. Just a little bit of an update there, since I have another show here just a couple of days later. But <clears throat> let's go into some stuff. So I'm going to sort this out. <clears throat> with Marvel on Sideshow.com. And I have this sorted out. <clears throat> Once it loads, you'll see. Everything Marvel and just Hot Toys, that's selling-wise, okay? 
No quarter scale figures. Just six scale figures. No coming soon. Just pre-order and what's available now. And I can tell you right now that with what I'm going to show you here, that there are 92 Marvel Hot Toys figures, six scale, that are either on pre-order or in stock. Not including quarter scale, not including wait list, like I see the Venom here. 92 of them. Think about that for a minute. I said 92. In stock or on pre-order. Wow. Not even close when it comes to Star Wars. Not even in the same ballpark, baby. Look at this. Wow. Four. Eight. Twelve. Sixteen. Twenty. Twenty-four. Twenty-eight. Thirty-two. Thirty-six. Forty. Forty-four. Mmm. Forty-eight. Fifty-two. Fifty-six. Sixty. Sixty-four. Sixty-eight. 72. Let's go to the next page. <laughs> 76. 80. Wow. 84. 88. 92. Wow. 96. 97. 98. Let's go ahead and subtract all the wait lists. <clears throat> subtract this one. 97. 96, 95, <clears throat> 94, 93. Let me go back to the first page. Let me scroll down. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. Keep going up. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so let's go ahead and get all the way up. There's Venom. So 93, 92. 92 figures I just showed you. 92. Let me show you some other numbers on what's available for Star Wars. And <clears throat> here we go. Now, this also is sorted out best seller wise. Again, there's Rex as number one, which I foretold. Remember, Cody was not number one, was not near number one. <clears throat> but it's number one. Anyway. Not including anything quarter scale. Which is quite frankly a different game. For many anyway. Four. Eight. Twelve. Sixteen. Twenty. Twenty-four. Twenty-eight. Thirty-two. Thirty-six. Forty. 44, 48, 52, let's subtract the wait list, 51, Jawa and Gontroid, 50, Boba Fett, 40th, 40th. let's continue to scroll up, I don't want to miss anything. Ray, 49. 49. 49 Star Wars figures that are in stock, including these clone troopers. 
including the Jet Troopers too, right? <laughs> 49 compared to 92. And how popular is Star Wars right now? Thanks to John Favreau and Dave Filoni. Thanks to The Mandalorian. Thanks to Disney Plus. How many shows are we getting next year? In the Book of Boba Fett. Will be one series. And or series. Mandalorian season three. Hmm. And you have to wonder. Is it possible that the way that this looks right now is going to look very, very different come January and February of next year? And I say, yes. Three, four months from now, you won't even know what you're looking at. Because you won't have Captain Rex available. You won't have these 501sts available. You won't have the Death Watch Mandalorian available. You won't have Lando available. You're not going to have this Ahsoka available. Ray's already not available. Kylo's going to be gone. Coruscant Guard's going to be gone. Short Trooper Squad Leader's going to be gone. The Armor is going to be gone. This Maul's going to be gone. IG 11's going to be gone. I can go on and on. <laughs> I didn't mean for that to rhyme. <laughs> What, what, what are we going to have on here? 30-something Star Wars figures. <laughs> are you kidding me? If you're wondering if we're going to get announcements this year, and if it's going to be more than two, or three, or... If they're going to limit it, you know. Think again. Because let's just go right to it. And now I'm going to show you everything sorted out just coming soon for Star Wars. <clears throat> let's see if I have it. I think I do got to sort it out. Isn't it so interesting with this? What's up with this uh, First Order Snowtrooper? <laughs> oh my goodness. I guess stranger things have happened. <clears throat> I guess anything's possible, right? Well, the Dark Jedi Ares Terrington who serves up all the Star Wars Hot Toys talk. When I say is it possible, I have some data to back it up. And... It usually is possible. Certain figures are not possible. <clears throat> Certain figures are, though. Like this Bespin Luke. Look at this battle droid. Look at all these figures. Let's actually go through it now. Let me bring up some stuff to you. Let's go through a segment together. We're going to call this, Is It Possible? And I'll answer for you. I'll either say, and I say, yes, or, and I say, no. And then I'll tell you if it's coming this year or not. But let's go through. I'm actually going to include... Some Marvel with this. Maybe some other stuff. I'm going to include some stuff. Because, you know, the Hot Toys wizard. When he or she or it gives me a call. Whatever the wizard decides to be on that particular day. Kind of gives me a lot of information. Is it possible that we'll get Bespin Luke? Before the end of this year? And I say, yes. I actually do. I actually think that this is going to be officially announced. 
before the end of this year. And I think it's going to be officially announced in the 40th anniversary packaging for the Empire Strikes Back. And that may be the last one that you get. Of course they could surprise us all and give us a, a Hoth loop, baby, and a Hoth Han. How many of you would like a two-pack of Hoth Luke and Hoth Han? A Hoth Han and Hoth Luke two-pack. And then, like the blurb, they'll give you this Tauntaun if you want it. <laughs> oh, boy. How many people buy two Tauntauns? It's possible. Because it's money, baby. Mm -mm -mm. To continue this game. Is it possible? And I say yes. Look, um, I'm actually surprised that this hasn't been uh, officially announced. And I really think that... Uh, I don't know. I got a gut feeling that this can be officially announced this year. I mean, I'm just being on this and the Airborne Trooper. Ah, oh, I didn't get to it yet. Let's wait till we get there. Let's continue this game. So far, two yeses. <clears throat> Is it possible? And I say, yes. Look, you already got the team suit with uh, Tony Stark. They're going to come out with the other team suits as well, especially the ones that they teased. Join the RSVP list. Look at that pop up. Wouldn't surprise me if that happens this year. Is it possible? And I say yes. And this is coming. We're going to get this before C-3PO? Yeah, you are. Look, we've got everything else before C-3PO. Okay? You got Jin Erso before C-3PO. You got Sherrod Imwee before C-3PO. You got the Short Trooper before C-3PO. You got the Porcelain Trooper before C-3PO. You got the Bronze Storm Trooper. Before C-3PO. I don't want to hear another comment. We're going to get a Bail Organa before C-3PO. If we can get a Porcelain C uh, Stormtrooper before C-3PO, we could certainly get Jimmy Smiths before C-3PO. Is it possible? And I say, yes. Come on. How many prequels figures are, 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 are still in stock at Sideshow? And they have no problem coming out with just a 4,000 or so run, like they're doing with this Lando. You don't think they would sell four or 5,000 Padmes? Are you kidding me? It's coming. As a matter of fact, these lower quantities of figures are going to be a lot coming. Because there's only so much money to go around. And things are going up. And these figures will go up. Just like everything else is going up. There's only so much money to go around. Doesn't mean you stop making figures. Just means you stop making less volume of, of them. Less per run. Well, that means they're just going to go crazy in the secondary market, Aries. Yeah, they are. Which means it's going to show demand for Hot Toys. Which means that they'll come out with a different version. How many different outfits did Natalie Portman wear in there? You don't think that they're going to come out with a Dark Side Ray? Why? Because you don't like the sequels? <laughs> don't give me that garbage. They just sold out a Ray. 
they have the head sculpt. That's one of the best head sculpts they've ever done, quite frankly. You don't think that they'll they'll sell two, three thousand Dark Side Rays on a con exclusive? Of course they will. And you heard it right here. As a matter of fact, I'm getting a call right now from the Hot Toys Wizard. Hey, what's going on? My, what you sound like Catherine Oxenberg. Yes. Yes. Oh well, that's sweet. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, I got a... She hung up on me. It's a she today. The Hot Toys Wizard just informed me that Dark Side Ray is not only coming, but it's on the workbench, baby. It'll be an exclusive. They'll make two, three thousand of them. And guess what? They'll sell out. Let's continue. <clears throat> Is it possible? <laughs> let, me, let me phrase it like this. <laughs> Is it possible that this is coming with a head sculpt? And I say yes. <laughs> what about Vince McMahon? Uh, what, what about him? He's powerful. But he will bow to the almighty Disney machine. <clears throat> and I say yes. Come on. Got to come out with the team suits. It's a small world after all. Are you kidding me, Mickey Mouse? <laughs> and I say no. Just kidding. Can't say no to Grogu. Of course this is coming. Wow, I haven't said no yet. Is it possible that this is going to come with a head sculpt? And I say yes. Aries is too many figures. Are you kidding me? We, we haven't even, we haven't even, we haven't even got anywhere close to Marvel. <clears throat> Are you kidding me? Get ready for live and raw with the Dark Jedi, Ares Terrington, because I cannot wait for this baby. <clears throat> and is this coming this year? And I say, yes. It's going to be officially announced this year. Go some more. With all the Marvel figures, how is this not out yet anyway? And I say yes. <clears throat> really love this actress in the newsroom. <clears throat> anyway. And I say, yes. <clears throat> They're going to wait. They're going to wait for just the right series. Why? He's going to wind up showing up. But once they get this, he's going to wind up showing up at all the series. You know what I'd love to see? I'd love to see a two-pack. The ultimate two-pack of C-3PO and R2-D2. They've always been a duo. Yeah, it just makes sense to me. I, I would I would buy that two pack. I don't know. I could care less. I I, I really could care less. They could pack him with Vice Admiral Aldo, and I'm I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> I 
And I say, yes! <clears throat> yeah, it's coming. It's going to come because he's going to show up on the Andor series. Possibly. Very possibly he is. But I think it's that they could just put this out just for Rogue One. They put out the short the uh, short trooper squad leader for Rogue One. Why can't they put out Baze Malbus? You think there'd be no interest in this? Not enough will sell. Really? They'll sell. Again, they can make 4000 like Lando. This is gone. <clears throat> Keep going. And I say, yes. They already got the Batman Arkham Knight figure for the, for the video game. They're 1,000% going to give you this. And I say, yes. <laughs> of course this is coming. Of course this is coming. No one will buy it. No one will buy this for the 212. No one's interested in Cody. That's why it's got to be $500 tier range, right? Drum roll. Is this going to be the one? No. Is it possible it's going to be the one? No. And I say, yes! Ares, there's no interest in the sequels. Look, I already told you my issues with the sequels. But it made $4 billion with all three movies. And you're going to have most of this done with the Luke's Skywalker Snowspeeder pilot outfit. And rest assured, <laughs> if you don't think that they'll move a few thousand of these, you need to think again. But Ares, it wouldn't sell in the numbers of 20,000 to the U.S. like the best car of Mandalorian. Well, most of the figures aren't going to sell like the best car of Mandalorian. Just saying. <clears throat> if you'll sell as many of this as the Ray, which I think you'll sell more, they're going to make it because they can make money. All right. Let's go ahead and wrap this up since we're having some fun. Let's make believe we're live and raw. Drum roll. Is it possible? And I say... Yes! Come on. This is the announcement you've been waiting for. This is the announcement I've been waiting for. This is the announcement that the cantina has been brewing pot after pot and pouring cup after cup and pouring down and drinking down spotchka after spotchka and all kinds of off-world Jawa Egg juice and wizard juice. And wait a minute, another call <clears throat> from the Hot Toys Wizard. Wizard? And you sound like Harrison Ford. I, I know. Yeah, yeah, never tell you the odds. Right. <clears throat> really? You got a good feeling about this. All right. Okay. Bye. He didn't hang up on me. Probably because of the voice of Harrison Ford. And the Hot Toys Wizard says, Yes. <laughs> Ooh. And I know, I know, 
the older version when he shows up, most likely, in the book of Boba Fett. They're just going to come out with one. Ah, really? Remember, Clone Wars Ahsoka. And they really jumped on that Ahsoka with Grogu way quicker than the Ahsoka, Ahsoka series. Which is going to have another Ahsoka and probably a couple of Ahsokas. Maybe an Ahsoka from another series coming up before we even get to that Ahsoka. Two maces. Two. Go ahead and kick. <laughs> go ahead and click that like button if you enjoyed the content. And please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I so very much appreciate your support. And if you liked what you saw here today, and I gave you some analysis, so you want some heightened analysis, some expanded thoughts, and I gave you some fun. So if you want some crazy conversations with the Hot Toys Wizard, maybe the Hot Toys Wizard itself, himself or herself or itself, you may want to consider becoming a Cantina Insider. If you're interested, click on that little join button. That's on the channel. See everything that it comes with. If it's something that piques your interest, you may want to consider joining. Uh, I'll be live. I'll be live this Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern. Full panel. Market show live. Can't wait. Hopefully we get some good stuff to talk about. I don't always. Buy Spotchka out. <laughs> or coffee. Or wizard juice. But what I do, I buy from Six Scale Canteen. <sighs> Stay thirsty, my friends. See you Friday.